What's up, guys? It's Leo and Danny on the Leo and Danny Show. And just wanted a quick reminder that you should check out our Patreon if you haven't. It's another very, very high energy, phenomenal performance on a podcast for all of you that need it on your commutes, before bed, whatever it is, while you're masturbating. Check out the Leo and Danny Show Patreon. And mm. it's going to help us get everything to the next level. We have we still haven't found anybody who wants to do ads with us. So this is the way that we survive. So please help us out. And like the video and subscribe. Thank you. <sighs> Not happy with Swolby. I know. It's... Look, Swolby is, is a young man and he has a lot to learn. He was on a set with you. What was he required to do, Danny? Are you there, Swolby? Yeah, I'm here. I have a lot of morning wood this morning. Oh, really? You have a boner right now? Convenient. This isn't a time to joke, Swolby. And this is not a time to brag about your sexual functioning. Yeah. <laughs> the audience will soon learn why. Swolby had the goldenest of golden opportunities mm -hmm. this past week. How golden? He was escorted to a porn set. Oh, God. In a limousine. In a limousine. And on camera, had the opportunity to make love to a woman who counts on her resume Johnny Sins, uh, James Dean, uh, Ron Jeremy. No way, Ron Jeremy? I made up the Ron Jeremy, but. Hopefully not Ron Jeremy. A porn star, a well known female porn star who has had sex with the other two gentlemen, Swolby fucked her. Got to have sex, but he was so unprofessional uh -huh. and so drunk on set, uh -huh. the footage can't be used. <laughs> Was he rock? Did he get rock hard? He got rock hard, but let's start from the beginning of the day. No, it's probably Viagra then. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. So Swolby shows up at my house mm -hmm. at about 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. late. I wanted him here at 10. No way. An hour late. Yes. And because he knows we'd set this up weeks in advance that he was going to have sex in the San Fernando Valley with uh, an Adam-22 production. He was going to have sex with a girl underneath this umbrella. It was going to be a comedy sex show, but mostly sex. He needed to be a professional first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And the comedy aspect, is it just because of Swolby's overall look? or Almost all of it was from a Swolby's overall look. Okay. I would say maybe 5% of my job was sprinkling in a little comedy. Okay. Nice. But mostly he pulled the... Mostly just he pulls up, they see him, his outfit, his costume... Swolby gets here. He's wearing his bodybuilding singlet. And nice. can we pull up Austin so the audience who maybe might not be familiar with Swolby can see him in his singlet? You you must know Swolby. Swolby is uh, he's diving deep into the into the porn star world. So he could be our first legit porn star that's on set. I mean, doubt it. Well, he everybody starts somewhere. All right. He it's his first game of the big leagues. A lot of the yeah. kids that come up, they have a lot of nerves. They they can't throw a strike. But they go back to the minors. They get a little more practice. Swolby will be back. He only has exactly. practice with that, sh that one girl that the he was dating. Well, yeah. He practiced well, obviously, hooker. That was his minor league. Honestly, that was a really good – I mean, that was that was a phenomenal performance, to be honest. It was. Yeah. So Swolby, you might remember, went to Pahrump, Nevada, mm -hmm. to the world-famous Chicken Ranch, and made love to a prostitute named Blair. <laughs> He did that while on 40 milligrams of edibles. He doesn't smoke ever, so that was a ton for him. Mm. And he did that, made love to her, finished, came on her stomach, with a camera filming him and me and Leo heckling him. Yeah, and so, the girl heckling him, talking about his penis, mm -hmm. talking about his look. Calling him Chodeby. Chodeby. She gave him a horrible nickname. Not Just good. mentally no. torturing me for two hours. Yeah, before. and you didn't give a fuck. It was great. Oh. It was unbelievable. So, I mean, maybe marijuana would be the way to go next time instead of alcohol. Yeah. So, I don't know baseball terminology, mm. but it was as if me and you were scouts and he just pitched a shutout in yeah. a single A ball game. And we were like, this kid deserves a call up to the big leagues. So, we set up something with Adam 22. Mm -hmm. A girl's going to come out. Mm -hmm. Swoby's going to come out. Mm -hmm. And it's my idea to add a little silliness to this whole thing. Gotcha. Hence the singlet. Right. Hence me insisting that he wears every stinking bodybuilding medal he has ever received. We even we got one as a gift. Remember, it was like a bronze, though. It wasn't one of his prize It was a ones. gold, have, you asshole. It was a gold? I'm sorry. I yeah. thought it was like a bronze. That thing is made of pot metal. It is not gold. <laughs> 
You know what we, Danny? How we fucked up as scouts is that usually we have to do the just you know the, we have to do like the personality breakdown. We have to give them a couple mental uh, tests, mm -hmm. some psychiatric evaluations mm -hmm. before you call them up to the bigs. That's part of the deal, and we didn't do any of our homework. We didn't, and psychiatric evaluations mm -hmm. probably awesome. would have come back with a red flag saying, oh, yeah. "Hey." This guy is insecure, mm -hmm. and he might drink heavily to deal with that. Right. And who knows what he might do then. But see, I didn't know at the time. The thing about Swoby is that it's still pretty awesome that we just found this weightlifting, shorter, shorter man that yeah. loves us and is willing to maybe, you know, at least try being a porn star. Because Dino doesn't do anything for us, no. for he, example. He spreads his cheeks occasionally. He does Swolby spread his shows up here. Swolby mm -hmm. shows up here with a 12-pack of Happy Dads. Oh, God and damn it. I don't, and a bottle of Tito's. The way he was sneaking. And a bottle of Tito's? I didn't see the bottle of Tito's. See, that's what I'm talking about. He was very stealthy about all this. I was driving <laughs> the car. He was in the back seat doing whatever he wanted to do back there. My sister... She has a puppy. Mm. It's a big um, Rhodesian Ridgeback puppy. Mm. And they'll occasionally come downstairs and find the entire bag, the entire 10-pound bag of Yukonuba dog food ripped into and devoured. Wow. Sometimes they'll come downstairs and they'll find things like dish soap and Vaseline. The canisters ripped open on the kitchen floor and all the contents consumed. That was how Swolby was behaving with the happy dad and the Tito's behind me. Holy shit. Because we get there and his eyes, Leo, no. are crossed. His jaw is <laughs> slack. You think Johnny Sins is doing this shit? Johnny Sins is snorting Viagras and that's about it. You, you take I feel like he shows up dead sober to shoot and just... Well, obviously... Pounds. Jo Johnny Sins? Down, Have dude. you seen his physique? Johnny Sins is probably banging out a workout followed by a sauna session before he films. And Swolby, yeah. I don't feel bad about saying this. I never would have said this in the past, but now I feel it's warranted. You looked flabby on set. Holy shit. Jesus. You know what? I'm sorry. I know you're not cutting weight for any, uh, you know... From no, your competitions I, I right now? I was looking pretty good, man. It's just my fucking... I was bloated from the happy deaths, man. You were bloated from the happy deaths. That sounds like an excuse because alcohol is used in the community of the modeling, I've heard, because it it's a diuretic and it constricts you. So I And it de dehydrates you. So I believe that you're bullshitting now. So we'll be and I was wearing my singlet the whole time, so I wasn't shirtless. So, you couldn't so, see the fucking games, man. Swoby gets there. I saw you shirtless. I mm -hmm. helped you get into your singlet. Mm -hmm. Swoby gets there. He's wearing all these medals. It's like a, a pack of dairy cows walking down your street is what it sounds like every clink, time clink, he clink, enters clink, a room. Clink, clink. That's so funny. <laughs> so already that's putting the talent mm -hmm. not at ease. Yeah. She's a little uncomfortable by this. Adam-22 interviews him. And of course he's being vulgar. He's dropping N-bombs. Swoby is... He keeps reaching over and dapping Adam-22 up after every other question. Stop it. He Can't was, stay on track. This is a man <laughs> who is the gatekeeper for some of the, the biggest, you know, rap artists out there right now. Mm -hmm. And he, you think he was okay with Swolby dropping N-bombs? Swolby, a Mongolian-Mexican guy. I know you're not Mexican, <laughs> Swolby. I don't care. I'm not going to take the time to learn your other South American He's from heritage. El Salvador. He not going to take the time. He hates Mexicans. No, he doesn't hate Mexicans, but he doesn't like them that much because El Salvadorians don't. It's the truth. Okay. There's a lot well, of beef in that community. There's man. a lot of beef, dude. The, um, dude, the, he he is. I mean, the MS-13, the shadiest, craziest gang ever, mm -hmm. is from El Salvador. So mm -hmm. there could Those be a war breaking out soon. We should do an MS-13 video uh, with. Um, so we'll <laughs> we can link up with a guy from my high school. A dude from my high school. This just shows how shitty the place I grew up is. Joined MS-13. This Mexican dude, also named Leo, and everybody thought he was so fucking cool. That's whack, dude. I, I mean. There, I don't think. Yeah, there was a time where they're like a, being in a gang would have been cool in high school for me too. That's so weird. That's funny though. I mean, you know, they He's have to do some crazy shit. He has to do some crazy shit. To, well, he has to get his ass beat for like is it like three minutes or something like that. Like they viciously beat each other up. Who knows? Who this guy might have been a poser MS13 member. I just remember a couple of years later seeing his Facebook profile picture. He was wearing a red bandana over his face, COVID style. About 15 years before COVID, mm. he was throwing yeah. up a gang sign, and it said Norteño Mama. Like that was his name on Facebook, or maybe it was Norteño <laughs> Mama. Maybe oh, nickname. God. Maybe his nickname was Mama. God damn it. It's funny, but I 
do think there's a lot of evil in that gang, and I you do think, think Leo they have to kill somebody. Oh, I, I thought they were a reputable they organization. It. Well, some <laughs> gangs don't require require you to kill someone that's innocent, just a random old lady or something like None that. None of those but... gangs. I mean, they don't all require you to kill somebody innocent. Hmm. Otherwise, I think there would be a much higher priority in cracking down on these games. Well, did you ever hear? I mean, do you ever hear about the fucking if your lights are off and somebody flashes their uh, their bright? Oh, no way! If somebody has their lights off and you flash your brights at them. That would that was a thick game that I think it was the Crips of the Bloods. I'm not sure uh, which. Yeah, that's like they the would green light to like fucking Murky. Yeah, they, it's green light. If you flash your brights, like, hey man, turn on your lights, you are then the you're you're supposed to get they're supposed to kill you. That's that a real thing. True. Well, for, just for uh, looking out for the safety of other drivers, yeah. they're going to kill you. Isn't that crazy? Well, first of all, I think a lot of these things are urban legends. I'm sure this kid Leo so. to get initiated into MS13 had to like break a middle schooler's skateboard. <laughs> And then throw it over a fence. I don't think it's that serious anymore. <laughs> Otherwise, the police would make it a much higher priority mm. to dissuade young men from joining gangs. But Swolby was talking like an MS-13 member God damn it. to Adam-22. <laughs> and again, I, I want to apologize to everybody. I had no idea Swolby was drinking this much. I mm. thought he was going to sip one, two, maybe three happy dads, quell his nerves Make it easier for himself to get an erection, which he really had no need to do because he ate an entire Viagra Cialis hybrid pill oh. and his dick got hard. Where'd you get that, by the way? Not that I need it, but I'm curious, you know, uh -huh. maybe I'm part of an orgy one day and uh -huh. I want one. Uh -huh. Where do you get that? I have Where do you get that? Maybe. Yeah, you have, have a like, couple more? Yeah. All right, give, more. give me one for, a, you know, a dark day where I need to go go away for a while. Yeah, I when a girl that. insists on you having sex with her as opposed to Missionary? just receiving oh. oral, typically. Yeah, the eye contact, Leo. Ooh, that's too much. Well, I know yeah. it kills the romance. <laughs> Some people really Good enjoy old. it. I, not so much. So, Swolby, when we start shooting, I use a pair of electronic scissors to cut open his <laughs> singlet in front of the penis hole. Wow. It was a $100 lifting singlet that I had to reimburse him for. This upsets me. I'll tell you why later. Mm -hmm. I cut open a penis hole, and out comes Swolby's junk. Okay, how, how was it looking? Not bad. All right. It looked a lot better than it looked in Nevada. In Nevada? Well, okay, good. Good. Thank it didn't you. Look, Swolby, I'm sorry, it didn't look great at the chicken ranch. It looked a lot better this time. It was probably the Viagra pill, would you say? I think I'm so. I'm happy yeah. to do that, actually. Yeah, it's like um, when you pull a beach ball out of the package after you order it from Amazon. It does not. Mm -hmm. th his penis this day at the Adam-22 shoot looked like you'd done a couple pumps with the uh, the ball pump. Oh, first. okay, nice. So it was already a little bit unfolded, and then it grew to, I'm sure, his optimum size, thanks to the Viagra Cialis, and also his co-star's blowjob skills, oh. which were formidable. Oh, my God, dude. Top to five, remain like, a mystery. Floppy toppy in my life. Yeah. Really? Be more respectful, yeah. Swolby. So you don't you don't get to, you don't get to use terminology like top five sloppy toppy. What the fuck? When you couldn't even come, all right? Oh, dude, what is uh, wrong with you? You're man? in no position to objectify her. These guys top don't five blow you think job. It, if you, you think working for Danny Mullen is just a walk in the park, you can go around being your asshole self, flipping people off, using N, the N word. Saying the uh, the hard F with the T at the end. Mm -hmm. You think that's Bag okay? It. You're representing us. Stop it. You're representing us. You were representing Danny when yep. you were on set with Adam Twenty Two. Yes. You embarrassed. You embarrassed the regime. You the, all the footage is lost. This is not okay. You need to grow from this, Swolby. Yeah, basically, I mean, Swolby's complete inability to be serious or professional on set made it so the production has to dump all the footage. Mm. It was not good. Swolby couldn't come. He was comatose. Couldn't come up with even a line or two of romantic pornography dialogue, God which, I mean... We, everybody in this room has spent the last 10 years masturbating to internet porn, and mine and Leo's case, even longer. Yeah. Watch this. Everybody come up with a romantic line of porn dialogue right now. Austin, go. Your titties are beautiful. Austin, go. Or Dino, go. <laughs> Shit. I think I'm about to come. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Swami hey, couldn't that. muster that even. <laughs> really? Oh, baby. <sighs> That ass is so round and perfect. I love that ass, baby. Anything. I don't know. Yeah. You better call me Moses because I'm splitting these pussy lips like the Red Sea. Oh, my God. Anything, yeah. dude. He was yeah. completely. He went into. Yeah. He went into his own. Like, 
I, remember when we were at the chicken ranch and he was on all those edibles? It seemed like he was on edibles this time and not drunk because he clammed up. I mean, and it literally might as well have been a clam getting shoved up this girl's pussy for all the dialogue we got out of this wow. guy. In the end, <laughs> she thought it was not worth her reputation. Mm -hmm. She thought it was not worth the loss of fans that might come mm -hmm. with Swolby because he was being unprofessional, a little creepy. We had to scrap everything. And Swolby, I hope you're happy. Because you got paid $400 for nothing. You got paid $400 to fuck a beautiful girl and not a soul is ever going to see it. No. How's your board career going, though? I mean, how many people would you say have seen you have sex with, uh, you know, your ex on the OnlyFans? Yeah. How many? Oh, fuck. A whole lot of fans have seen me fuck my ex on there. A whole uh, lot, meaning Fan Jerry and three other guys. Fan Jerry has seen you fuck. For uh, sure. He was obsessed with, 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 with Thick Fit Gas. He was. Oh, yeah. Remember that? I'm pretty sure he paid for it. And he's probably go. ripped a couple jerks. So, God damn it. Swolby, I don't know what to say, man. I'm upset. You mm. couldn't come. I really wish you would have chose for your poor performance the Chicken Ranch Girl because at least we had Nutsack Ned as backup to yeah. give us a money shot in that. That <laughs> huge Nutsack is. Yeah. Swolby, listen, I want you to do some soul searching, you know? Maybe it's time for a change. Maybe it's time to quit Amazon, but, you know, we you owe us something. Mm -hmm. So I'd say before you quit Amazon, when you put your two weeks in, me and Danny do a ride along with you. We got to go We got to go out on the truck. We're going to do deliveries with you, all right? We're coming. Yeah, we're coming along. So you have to do that for us. But also, I want you to read some self-help books. Danny, you got any recommendations for him? Uh, yeah. How to feel taller even though you're not. Oh, that's a good one. I, uh, I I read that when I was I was like eleven because no, I wasn't uh, tall yet. Swolby, I'm joking. I hey, Swolby Damn, made an dude. effort. You and Leo, Swolby and Leo were the ones who made an effort on my birthday gifts. It's true. And for that, I appreciate the shit. Swolby, you gave me a great gift and you wrote me a fucking card that was riddled with profanity. And again, you insisted on using the <laughs> N word, but it's okay because the sentiment was there. The sentiment it was, was there. really sweet. So Swolby, you're a kind and sweet a uh, boy. All right. You kind of look, you remind me of Mighty Mouse. You're like Mighty Mouse. You're a good kid. All right. Fuck you, um, Leo. What? You're going to be nah, fine. You, Your porn career is not you. over. I love you too. Dude. Your porn career is not over. All right. Everybody has a, a point in their career where they think it's time to hang it up. Yours came very, very much at the beginning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. But if you keep fighting, if you keep fighting and grinding it out every day and practicing, you're going to make it one day in the porn world. And, and yeah, I, I just, think that you uh, would be the perfect porn star for the regime. You should be the porn star. Uh, yeah. Sure. I pitched, uh, I for, pitched the regime, yes. for the regime. For the regime, yes, exactly. Adam-22 Adam raided his cock on set, oh, and Adam-22's verbatim words were, I'll give it a generous four. A generous four? Oh, he said something damn. really mean about Iggy's cock, too. What did he say? He's like, I can't believe anybody pays to see that cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Swolby, I, my cock is not spectacular either. I probably would have gotten a generous five, so I'm not bragging here. I just, for the sake of truth, because nobody's going to see What's Adam 22's cock look like? I've never watched it. I don't believe you, first of all. I swear I haven't. Adam, uh, Leo, you are such a sick bastard. Uh, Anybody we know that has nudes anywhere, I've you're the him. guy who's going to have found them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's He's definitely true. fapped to some... I have porn. not fapped to any of Adam 22's porn. Can you pull up Adam 22's cock often <laughs> in a we way that well. only we can see it, not the audience? Let's do it. He's going to work on that. So, uh, you know what else this guy told me is at his delivery job at Amazon, he goes up into Bel Air, into the gated communities, and he's dropping off packages at Rob Dyrdek's house, wow. at Jennifer Aniston's. This guy's got some exclusive access, and... I think Rob Dyrdek and Jennifer Aniston, if I were them, Swolby, especially considering his affiliation with us, is the last guy I would want knowing where I live. Yeah, seriously. Here we go. Adam 22's cock. Okay. I want to I wanna have <laughs> sex with Jennifer Aniston. Well, I, would, I would do anything she wants, yeah. I would. Dream on, baby. You got to work your way up the ladder, and you couldn't <sighs> even satisfy a porn star. I want to okay? get Weinstein by Aniston, dude. She's powerful enough. She's so rich. She could really Weinstein me. Pull up another cock uh, pick. I would rush right, and so it's, her. it's a good size. It's a good size. Yeah, it's got the same uh, color scheme as Austin's penis. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at Adam. Dude, that is penis. definitely gay porn. There, hey, that is. Look over there, Dino. What's going on? You won't look at Adam Twenty Two's cock. 
just just to be clear, we're not saying Adam Twenty Two did gay porn. Leo's trying to trick Dino into looking at another there man's was penis. gay porn there. there was gay porn yeah, there was. It's not just gay to, to look at it as just like that. It's only gay if you click and actually search for it. All right. Well, it looks like a very porn worthy penis. There we go. We're blurring it. All right. It. So bl- it's a, it's a it's a you know it's a solid penis. Yeah, it's it's porn worthy for mm. sure. It's it's better than a uh, than a generous four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swolby, we're gonna let you go, but I just wanted to say to you that I'm disappointed, and I don't think there's gonna be another shot. Well, Leo was talking about this happens that is gonna go back down to the minors, then come back. Mm-hmm. I, I know what happens. I know what happens around uh, you know m- you know around Prump Nevada time next year. Yeah, every single year you get an itch to go down there and have somebody fuck a hooker. And you know that you're going to invite Swoolby again. I think you we're banned it. from the chicken ranch God right now. damn it. We're we going to have to go to the, go bunny, to the ranch. bunny, which is yeah. hotter chicks. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. Although, you know, I have to give it, I have to give it up yeah. to, the, uh, to the, the fucking chicken ranch. They, they improved a lot. After the pandemic, they came back with some way prettier girls than the first time. There was also a certified warthog in the back room that yeah. wouldn't come out because she hated us. Oh, that's a niche. She's like a niche. You know, I, like I said, one of your favorite YouTubers, he likes those big... What is it? A BBW? Rotund. A big beautiful woman? Yeah, the rotund. I mean, have you ever really had sex with a? Which, ri- which I know you've one, had. Which one of my favorite YouTubers? I can't say the name. Fat girls. Oh, I can't say the name. But you know who it is. I don't know who it it's is. The most sex addicty one there is. <laughs> he doesn't like to fuck he, fat girls. He, he has. I know a fat. Well, a fat girl that I know. <laughs> And the most sex addict YouTuber I know is you, first yeah, of all. That's true, yeah. <laughs> uh, so if you're confessing yeah. right now. <laughs> Oopsie. Because none of no, the YouTubers it's I know love to fuck fat girls. It's a porn star, and he follows her. And No, sorry, he doesn't follow her. Um, it's a porn star that's super fat, and he has a relationship with her, and they fuck consistently. Ron Jeremy? This is something you never told me about. I'll, 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 confer, I'll get all the details, and I will... I will okay, share because it's pretty funny. If everybody I know in the YouTube community, mm. they all fuck hot girls. The only ones who fuck fat girls, well, it's it's in Laniggy. Yeah. And I'm starting to think yeah. you now. <laughs> <laughs> I no, dude. I, I haven't fucked a fat girl, and I don't girl. even know if Inlanigi fuck. I just know that Inlanigi is obsessed with fat girls. I, I would That's say what I'm I saying. I haven't had sex with a fat girl. I, I just want. I just want to make this clear. I, what he I'm loves saying is fat girls. Inlanigi yeah. was liking his every photo yeah. of fat black girls it, it on was, it. It was on fat Instagram. Latina, and they were the ones that were really celluloid. You know those Dino that are so big. Where they have the little celluloid on the bottom, but guys like it. Oh, it looks yeah. like the surface oh, of the moon. Yeah. Have you seen those? Oh, yeah, those, like, cottage cheese legs. The cottage cheese kind of shit, but not that bad, but a yeah. little bit of cellulite, you know? Just, like, just enough. He he was into that big mm. time. But uh, Iggy is. Thing Iggy is. Yeah, that. I know it is. But some guys love it, you know? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. How many subscribers does this guy have? Uh, He's got millions. He gets big-time numbers. He gets his he gets Nelk Boy numbers. Oh, no, that's a big time. Uh, yeah, he's big time. Um, All right, well, listen. So we'll be... <sighs> I think that you should start dating a girl that's down to do OnlyFans with you. Yep. You can get some reps hey. in on your own time. Your own, make your own little videos and put them up. All right. And, and then maybe we could watch them on the pod and react to them. That'd be really funny. And Swoby, that was your shot, dude. It was your shot, Why dude. Why would you drink before your shot? I mean, imagine big, big time. Like, God damn it, dude. You were on like Letterman. You were like a comedian from the 70s. Yeah. Or sixty or eighties that was on Letterman Carson. It could Carson, yeah. It was Car. Like you, th- this could change your life. You were getting so many eyes on you from that point on. You were you were gonna go on the streets, Wolby, and get recognized. Like man, that's the that's a motherfucker from Adam Twenty Two and mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, absolutely. It's that, it's that short motherfucker from Adam Twenty Two. It's just like imagine if Jerry Seinfeld was hitting a bottle of wild turkey before his Carson performance. Yeah. Imagine if Tom never. Brady before. When Drew Bledsoe got smoked, yeah. when when Brady was a bench warmer, if he'd been sipping jungle juice on the bench, you know, you know he would. That's Why what Swoby was doing. Why would there be jungle juice? Because on the maybe bench? Tom Brady had been spending some time around the skill <laughs> players, the black uh, dudes, yeah, of course. and maybe that was a custom they had. The bench I mean, guys, yeah, you like, know, shit, we ain't playing anyway, dog. You know my uh, routine: two shots of Henny before the game. Darryl, yeah. and, you know, and then Darryl Tom Strawberry could have been there with the guys. Like, Shut up, Swoby. He could have been vibing with those guys. <laughs> Taking shots of Henny, man. And then maybe Tom Brady gets out there after Bledsoe gets his lungs collapsed, mm-hmm. and Tom Brady throws two picks and gets benched, and we never hear from him again. Swolby, you're going to have to work really hard yeah. to make sure you're not alternate universe drunk Tom Brady. Okay? And get lean, dude. I know. I'm not. And I want you getting real lean. I want you looking jacked. You understand me? Mm. If you got to take a little, you know, like, 
take a little fucking cycle. Take a cycle, dude. You're fine. You have a lot of hair. <laughs> little, You're not going to lose anything. A little clen? Just a little clen? Yeah, take a little trend, dude. Take a little trend, maybe a little wind straw. Wind straw. Do the wind straw. That's but for the it, models. I think Swolby, he needs a little bit of the blubber to make sure he gets the weights off the ground. Oh, of course. Yeah, no. I mean, no, he, his weight is, is where it needs to be for his for his career. Of, I mean, I don't know what if there's any money in lifting the weight the weights that yeah you do. swolby you've got enough blue power lifting medals i think it's time to transition to your cutting phase mm -hmm. and your pussy getting phase of life yeah man my Come porno on. phase your porno phase listen if you want to do it you want to do it i mean i don't think i don't think that i, I had a long talk with you about this i was like you this is your porn career and at the end you were just like but i already fucked on camera man and all the fans saw it i was like oh, God, i forgot about that he already did it so it's fine. All right, Swolby. In conclusion, thank you for your birthday gifts. Thank you for You're trying welcome. to have sex on camera. Yeah. But also, fuck you for not finishing. What are you going to do with the Krispy Kreme uh, gift card he got you? Go there for coffee, I suppose. They have coffee, right? Yeah. Yeah. They they coffee. Coffee. It's coffee mean coffee. It's good. Swolby, I... I um, better than Starbucks. It's not the best coffee, but it's not bad. I think you should make glaze, Swolby... Baby. You should give it back to Swolby, and he should... Send us a picture with as many donuts put on his hard cock as possible. That'll be half a donut. <laughs> so the, I, my life doesn't revolve around trying to deadlift an extra two and a half pounds at the gym, so I don't mm -hmm. need the Krispy Kreme glazed donuts to uh, post-workout gain, mm -hmm. okay? So I, I'm not going to do anything with that. I do love the card you gave me, though. I'll cherish it forever. And Leo hooked me up with a Trader Joe's gift card. Appreciate well, it. Well, it's the only Let's thing you go. need, dude. And I also just found out that one of my staple items for Trader Joe's is dangerously chock full of lead. Which one? The cauliflower, the riced cauliflower, frozen Why does it stir have fried. Lead in it? Because it was made in China, maybe. That's bullshit. I don't know. They just, I know. They I, the extra... people that work at a whole... Uh, I've had a, numerous friends that have worked at Trader Joe's. It's a good job. They start like at $23 yeah. an hour. You get to carry around the little knife. Trader Joe's, it's like gnarly. Do you ever notice that? If you want yeah. to be a, a September 11th hijacker, you can do that. Oh, yeah. Provided <laughs> you're employed at Trader Joe's. Yeah, because, you know, it's their uniform. No, but they're, it's a curi It's an interesting place to work. They have a, a, a bunch of little weird things. Like, you know, if you find this stuffed animal, it's like a, an octopus. Well, they have different ones at different stores, but often it's an octopus. They, if you find it and you give it to, one, to the person at checkout, they give you a treat. What's the treat? Usually, like, a either one time I got a brownie, one time I got a lollipop, <laughs> one time I got gummy bears. Swolby, uh, I didn't know that, first of all. Swolby just asked if it's a blowjob. Do you ever get your cock no, sucked I, for I, finding I, No, octopus? Swolby, I did not <laughs> find the fucking stuffed octopus and brought it to the lady and got a fucking blown in the parking lot. No, that did not happen. That sounds like Leo's fantasy. He, that would be He great. finds an octopus, because we all know he loves those, <laughs> then he gets his dick sucked by a checkout girl. That would be incredible. It's, I mean, my, I live in L.A., and my local Trader Joe's is pretty fucking devoid of hot chicks really yeah they're all wearing the studio city one was very very no high way. quality it was incredible how many hot girls were there the hot chicks the go one, to whole foods yeah i of one course on my yes but has a lot of hot bitches hey you unplug and plug my uh earphones back in it's, there and swolby i'm also not sure anymore what you consider a hot bitch but uh, i get a pee better awfully and swolby i'm still disappointed in you you're gonna have to do something <laughs> sexual to make up for this have a good Something shift at work, sexual. buddy. Uh, don't break into Jennifer Aniston's billy, uh, place in a rape. And maybe place. get a job at Trader Joe's, you know? That'll be a step up from the Amazon. And I think oh. you'd be a great little Trader Joe's guy, you know? You wear the little Hawaiian shirt. You can you can unbutton it to the third button, have a little chain, you know? Talk to some <laughs> girls. Are you What's sold on other? that? I think that settles it right there. You can button your Hawaiian shirt down, Swoby. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a deal maker. That, that sounds really good. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Swolby, you have a great afternoon. I'm 32 now. Wow, dude, that's great. I feel so much better about being 35 because you're 32. It now was we're my just birthday a, this last weekend. We're a bunch, we're a fucking couple of goofballs just fucking around. God, it makes it so much better. Like it's way better for trolling at our age because it's like if we really could fool like we fool college kids all the like that's hilarious. We're just a couple 30 year olds just going. To, it's so funny. I've heard it described as the sweet spot of life. 32, not so much 35. Mm -hmm. 35's over the hill, sorry to tell you. Oh, fuck off. With 32, you can still raid the 18 and up chicken coop like a mm -hmm. weasel. And it's like not, a it's weasel not with that a full-on erection. It's not creepy yet. Not that creepy yet. But also, 
ching 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 ching. Oh, you got more money. You got a little bit in your pocket. You got a little piece of change to take them out with. Show them a good time, but also sexually, you know exactly how to please a woman, mm-hmm. or a little bit more. The soft spot in the back of the also, head. Also, if you got you all your, your front hair. two knuckles into uh-huh. that right before you climb, the soft spot. <laughs> That's what makes them feel the G spot. That's for fools in their 20s. The soft spot, any 30-year-old knows that's how to make a girl real happy. If these two assholes tried to take a chick out, first of all, their rap is no good. You don't perfect your fucking rap until at least age 29. Yeah. Now, Austin, I know hey, you I'm got, pretty good at rap. I'm not talking about that rap. I'm not talking about, yo, what up? I'm from Houston. I'm sipping on a cough syrup, which is yeah. how he sounds. He's kind of like a mumble style. rapper. He's got that style. You know, what It's I mean? good, but it's also going to make women do a 180 and go mm. the other way. But me and Leo in a bar. Oh, come on. Dim lighting. With a glass of whiskey before yeah. us. We order an old-fashioned and actually enjoy it because our palates have changed enough mm. to where we enjoy the whiskey. Oh, the rap is so fucking smooth. Mm-hmm. Those girls, we can... We are like Native American chieftains who mm. in their youth fought wars, took scalps, and scouted out territories. We know what lies around the bend, and therefore we can offer them genuine life advice. We have a sense of ease to us because we feel we feel like we have found our niche mm-hmm. and we have real meaning to this world and to the economy. We've been through enough, and through enough trauma as well, you know. We've been we've been we're war torn, which yeah. is sexy. Sure, I mean these guys. Because they haven't been through those things yet, no. they're they're slouched over. Right, they're uh, they're antsy. Look at them. They're they're stuttering. They're mm-hmm. shaking. Mm-hmm. Their eyes are darting across mm-hmm. the bar. Me and Leo, we got one leg crossed. Yeah. We got one hand cupping our nuts. That's right. And we're just chilling. We're just chilling. And you know what it's like. It's like these guys were the guys that are, you know, Dino would have been so afraid on D-Day when me and you, we would have had a plan. Oh, this is getting strange now. We're going all the way back to D-Day. Okay, please. I'll play along, Leo. Tell me. All right. Tell me, me what we would have done you on at those D-Day barges. We, if we were uh, 32 on D-Day. Th- we're 35, but we got we had at least five years in the military. You know what I mean? We had some training. We had some we had some hand-to-hand combat. We've killed sure. a couple people. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So and what would we, we get, have done on D-Day with the ramps We get stuck drop? with these two. So, yeah, the, the, the barge, whatever those things are called. Landing craft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put Dino ahead of us, mm. way ahead of us. A bunch of Dinos and mm. Austins. Right at the opening. We're in First the back. Time, I think it would take about 20 of these guys to stop a single bullet. That's true. Well, yeah, I think we got enough. We got enough. D- we got 20 Dinos. Yeah, an MG42 round would pierce them like butcher paper. These guys <laughs> These guys are like paper mache skeletons. I mean, that's how durable or yeah. not durable these yeah. two fucks are. I think they should personally, uh, you know, dedicate some time to maybe getting studied by a couple doctors and overuse of marijuana and what it does to your appetite. Where are you going, buddy? Austin has gotten up. He's fetching a costume. On? I'm not sure what he's doing right now. He was just messing with the light. Okay. Apparently, we I thought ha- it was your gift or something that they got at Macy's, but it, they would never might, do that. He might stow a, a piece of fuck this weaponry behind us, yeah. and it's a fully loaded MAC-10 safety off, and if we just start giving him shit someday, I'm surprised he didn't pull it two podcasts ago. <laughs> he can walk over there, turn around, and blow us away. I mean... Hey, I got the new computer. I'm going to good... He's in My likelihood of shooting up the podcast Thank you, has Ian. gone down... We can thank, thank you, Ian. Editor Ian gave this away. I guess he didn't need it anymore. It was his old editing setup. Yeah. And he pacified Austin. And that means we have three more months during which Austin won't kill us. Right. It's if the podcast ends in a flurry of gunfire one day, though, I mean, that's just the way we would want it. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, it's going to get taken down off YouTube, but it'll be up on BitChute. Yeah. Their bit shoot episode where Austin kills all of us. Oh, and that'll it'll probably be our most viewed Mm -hmm. thing ever. Yeah, even though it's confined to bit shoot and rumble. Rumble's the new one, huh? Yeah, it'll be on Rumble. Our catalog of podcasts will become cult classics. Everybody will talk about them forever and ever. The point is, I'm 32. I get pussy, and Austin doesn't. But my (laughs) my birthday this weekend. And uh, Austin, I forget, he was telling some story this weekend during the porn shoot, and it was like textbook plotted. Mm-hmm. I had a big dick. The girl wanted more. She loved it. She fell in love. Really? Yeah, I, for- I forget what it was, but it was definitely. Of course. It was like um, 
It's like if you went to a hacky Hollywood screenwriting course and they give you like the six elements of story. Mm. Austin has that template, but it's all about his penis. Yeah. But I hung out with my girlfriend this weekend and we had some wild and crazy sex. Really? And we went to the Santa Barbara Zoo. Mm-hmm. Was it? I do remember you saying yeah, I was on your birthday when I came over for a little bit, gave you your gift card and shit, and you said somebody. Oh yeah, Swolby gave you lube. Do you remember what you said? Something about fucking her in the ass. Yeah, with you it. said. You know what that means, Mia? It's anal time. Well, I made good of that promise and then some. Oh, you son of a bitch! Because vaginal sex wouldn't be enough no, on your no, birthday. Uh, no, absolutely. At Thirty-two. I'm in the sweet spot of life. I need to get access to the sweet hole. <laughs> I, first of all, the night after we shot, because we went filming, it was tough. We had a lot of vlog footage from the Swolby thing, mm. but we're probably not going to be able to release it. So we had to go reshoot a video on Saturday. And I did. Rat Dick Ralph proved to be a great ace in the hole. We toured his apartment. Spoiler. Wow. It wasn't looking too good in there. Holy shit. I'm, I'm actually really excited to see that on It's going to be fun. It's going to open the video. We went and hung out with the YouTuber Ryan Long, who's nice. a fan of us. Cool guy. Mm -hmm. Rich guy, too. Doing really? well financially. Yeah. yeah, He knows what's up. And then uh, we did a little segment where me and my girlfriend got drunk on the beach. I like to call that segment foreplay for the inevitable anal that was what? to come. And then we had a very small get-together at my house. We went to a party that Swolby One Kenobi was DJing. Mm. Uh, spoiler there, it was a fucking disaster of a party. <laughs> but after all that, I made my girlfriend that night, Leo, take off her pants and underoos uh -oh. and sit on my face like it was a wicker rocking chair. Really? I was fucking, I just spread those fucking cheeks and I gazed upon that asshole and that pussy and it wow. looked perfect. Wow. It looked perfect. It was like, remember when we watched the moon rise over the mountains, the snowy mountains mm -hmm. of Alaska? It was beautiful. That's how her asshole looked. Did, uh... Have you not done this before? I have, okay. but it's been a while. And then there's I there's something in really just it just your anxiety goes away when you get, you gaze at a nice vagina and asshole, isn't it? Yeah, it's Weird. very nice. Yeah. It's it's an emotional support hole. Seriously, that should it, it, there should be able to be a man that just carries around one of those fake asses mm -hmm. where anytime he feels that anxiety, you just yeah. put that in his face, just yeah. a fake ass in his face. That would add so much. That, that would that would be much better than a service dog, in my opinion. I think there's application for calming children. Remember those toys you used to have? They were the orange binoculars where you'd go Ch -ch -ch -ch, mm -hmm. Ch -ch, and new images would pop up. Mm -hmm. They need to have those with exclusively photos of assholes and gaped pussies for <sighs> five year olds and below. Wow. I mean, yeah, you know, that would probably help him get off the phone and maybe ADHD or whatever. It's going to be a lot, a lot less. Well, I mean, parents hand their like five year old iPhone. Like, you can find way more graphic porn than just on one of those image clips. Yeah. You know, as our friend Miguel uh, from Compton, he does says, say that the youth in Compton is just destroyed mentally because of porn. That's what uh -huh. he says. That's the big issue, huh? That's what he that's says. That's porn in Compton? Yeah. It's not gang warfare that starts at age 13 and ends when they die five years later? God damn it, I hope. I mean, yeah, that, that must be gnarly. Also, but, that's probably a generous start date, 13. I'm sure it happens yeah. at seven over there. <laughs> I was eating her fucking asshole, and then... Wow. I don't even remember. I think I came all over her face both nights. No, inter wow. internal cum shot the first night. She cream but then, you, yeah, that's your favorite, right? I like the cream pie. Yeah. Anal or vaginal, it makes no difference to me. Mm. I am a baker at heart because of my passion <laughs> for cream pies. The next day, though, we go to the fucking zoo in Santa Barbara. I didn't know they had a zoo. Well, yeah, I've heard of it. But I've never been either. We get there. We go into the bird sanctuary where you can walk around. And yeah, I, I was feeling good. I'd eaten an edible. As I always do. A little 10 milli, my mil, 10 oh, MGs? Five, I think about 5 milligrams. Okay. And there was this bird walking around, and it had a number 52 tag around its ankle. Hmm. And there was a middle-aged lady there with her daughter, her 19-year-old daughter, and she's like, I wonder what that tag is for, husky voice. And mm -hmm. I said, uh, yeah, it looks like the, the number on a football jersey. She's like, he looks like an inmate. And I said, or maybe 52 is the number of other birds he's raped. <laughs> Hit her with a rape joke in the middle of the bird sanctuary. <laughs> you with, said with like a this. bunch of Chinese families running around. She loves it, dude. She, she laughs? She dies laughing at my wall-high public rape joke. Wow. There was a guy on Con Air, the movie, 
that would put tattoos, little hearts on his forearm of every woman that he raped. Oh, so, my God. Yeah, isn't that fucked up? It's fucking brutal for a so major brutal. Hollywood production. Yeah. So, I mean, things have changed since then. I doubt that that would even be a thing. Unless he was, like, it was a lesbian. If it was, like, a black lesbian, they would do that part again, and they'd be fine. If the black lesbian was raping people. Yeah, yeah wasn't, uh, which female men. rapper? Was, Car- was Cardi B was oh, bragging she raped about, men. Yeah, yeah. about drugging and raping men, and yeah. she got women of the year? She would, rob, the year. She would rob them, too. Yeah, yeah she, would, she would drug and rob. I'd be so down to get robbed she and raped. She would fuck them. To, just because, yeah. Just to get in. Yeah, a oh, woman yeah. of the year. That's a role model right there. She is, uh, I'd probably let her, like, kind of Harvey Weinstein me too, dude. She's pretty powerful. You would let any girl <laughs> do anything to you. Dino, quit eating Takis and focus. All Fuck right? you, Dino. Right here, baby. God damn it. I know that's that's spoiling your appetite, too, because you're, the weight is falling off you. Can Every I see the day bag? you come in here more Should and more Should we teach the kids emaciated. a little bit, of, a little bit something about reading, reading the ingredients here? <clears throat> All right. You read the first three. I'll read All the right. next three, and we'll go back and forth. Ah, Let, nah, it starts real. It starts really good. It starts fucking. Okay, so read the first two, then I'll read the next two. All right. We're going corn flour. All right. And then it says, parentheses, processed with lime. <laughs> nice. Oh, Second. Fruit in there. Second thing, vegetable oil. Oh, okay. The killer of so many people. And it says palm oil or soybean and or canola. Or rice bran oil. You're God not even sure it. what kind of oil you're yeah, getting. Yeah, they don't even know. Yeah. That is, uh, vegetable oil, if you don't know, causes a lot of heart disease because it's it's not good for you okay. to be cooked. I and know it comes from vegetables, but canola oil, which is vegetable oil, is horrible for you guys. Trans fats. It basically clogs your veins over time and will kill you. Next, we have seasoning. That is salt and maltodextrin, hmm. then citric acid Everything hmm. here on out after sugar is not pronounceable. Hmm. We have hydrolyzed soy protein, monosodium glutamate. We have disodium guilate. Who knows what the fuck that is? We have TBHQ. It's the Taco Bell headquarters. That's the last ingredient. <laughs> And I'm surprised that none of you guys, like, you guys are a big conspiracy theory, guys. Don't you understand that they're trying to kill you slowly with this so that Big Pharma can give you pills when you're, like, 50? To keep I don't you need going? to be lectured on what to eat by your fat ass, Leo. You <laughs> son of a bitch. Hey, at least he's got clear skin, Leo. I eat, yes, I eat a lot, but it's mostly meat. And I do, I have a sweet tooth, all right? You've all seen it. Every now and then I need a cookie, Danny. Every now and then I need some ice cream. I have been trying to eat less red things. Which is I bought a red gator, so I broke that rule. Great. Apparently, red forty gives you cancer, according to Iggy. So, anything yeah. red, you're not supposed. To eat. Iggy also believes a turtle makes the sun come up every morning. So. Oh really? Yeah, I wouldn't take dietary advice from a native. I think it is a turtle. Pushes it is up it? with this little. Hump. Yeah, Leo. I'm gonna say for all the shit you talk about other people's diets, you have some of the worst food self control I've ever seen. Fuck you, dude. You have really <laughs> bad food. You're eating which we just read the ingredients of. Here. You just told him it was going to kill oh, him. Shit. Oh, Eddie yeah. really knows before the I show. I thought they were going to fall out. What's more? All right. So I do have bad self I think it comes, it stems from my parents. Only, they would have like <clears throat> one dryer's ice cream in the freezer, right? And they would get, they would fat shame me if I would eat it too, like when it wasn't. So it was like two or three days a week, we would have dessert and it was the dryers from the freezer. But every night I would sneak little spoonfuls late at night, you know? And I think it stems from that because they, they held back on the sweets so that now I look at I'm like, I'm free now. I'm not in, I'm not in, my parents don't control me anymore. So I can, I can go to Whole Foods and get a box of cookies and eat them all with your, with fucking milk. And I'm fine. I think anybody could find any childhood explanation for anything they do. Well, I, I think know. you need to take some accountability and admit right now it that occasionally, usually after 7 p.m., mm-hmm. you turn into a fat ass. Everybody knows that I have the I am tiptoeing on the the thin line of either I could be obese in my future or I could fucking focus back in and keep the abs right now. It's like a four pack, you know, looks good, but not great. Like I could still go to a a, I think I could go to a Vegas pool party and, and dominate still, you know, but. I need to get even leaner than that, and I have to accomplish like like the Rock at thirty five kind of looked like shit. No, tr- true. And then he improved, and now look at him. But I mean, he did do it's it's HGH and steroids and but, baby and baby blood for sure. But uh, listen, I need I need to focus up. I can't be a fat ass. 
My father wrote me an email when I first, when I moved out of the house. We had like a blowout, and I moved out like one day to the next when I was like twenty four. This is okay. This is yeah. twenty four. I thought I this is when you got kicked out of the house in the Hollywood Hills. No, no, no. That one was uh, that was also a blowout, but it wasn't. He didn't write me the email th- saying in the email for some reason because you know I'm two hundred and forty pounds. I'm a big guy. He wrote this sentence. He said, "Nobody respects a fat person." Was that in any kind of context? Yeah, he said, like, say, don't you're get gaining fat. weight, Leandro. Yeah, he said, you're gaining weight. Knock you're it looking off. kind of fat. Nobody yeah. res- okay. He said that. Mm-hmm. He said, I've seen what you eat. Uh huh. He said, nobody respects a fat person. Uh, See, so your dad's right. He is right. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. We know that on this channel. Mm-hmm. That's why he, he, that was one of the least, and like, every now and then, like, you know, he'll be like, oh, you and Danny, you know, be careful out there. You don't want to get punched. But when the fat, the fat shaming thing, mm-hmm. the fat girl thing, mm-hmm. didn't even give a fuck. Did that he bring you it. closer to your father? Yeah, I would say absolutely probably closer. That rant that you went on, mm-hmm. that I that I laughed at, mm-hmm. I laughed at right here mm-hmm. because it was mm-hmm. it was wild. Mm-hmm. Brought me closer to my father. I think it's worth all the fatso tears that were mm-hmm. shed in that case. I agree. Thank you. I I, I used to not you. lose. I didn't really lose any sleep over this, but occasionally I would like just picture a fat girl in Montana was surrounded by twilight books and cats just crying her eyes out and i would feel a little bit bad but you know what that's gone it's because gone i made one italian metrosexual man's relationship with mm-hmm. his dad better i think i don't think would, with complete respect for my father would be like the financial situation helped a little bit because i think he thought i was just a complete loser that had no money um but the if i just i think i need to get in a fight like a real fist fight i've never really been in a fist fight the closest thing to a fight, I guess, was with you. You haven't showed him that footage? No, I didn't show him that footage because I don't want him to talk shit. He would probably say that I just... He'd, he'd get pissed that I got hit once. Yeah, yeah. He'd yeah. be like, Danny hit you? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm like, yeah, Danny? He, 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 got, he caught me with a couple shots. Mm-hmm. A couple straight right couple hands. Shots. I think three, maybe. I try to do the fucking Philly shell. <laughs> I, I definitely can't do that yet. I don't have, I don't have the, the wherewithal. Someday. Someday you'll work your way up to the Philly shell. Back at the zoo in Santa Barbara. Ran into a couple Danny Mullen fans. Of course. A Danny Mullen fan and I were scoping out the California condors. Oh, God. Those are almost extinct. Yeah, they have California condors. That's cool. It's kind of fucked up. They, in the Santa Barbara Zoo, have all the birds encased in exhibits. And you can see the birds flying laps, trying desperately to exercise their wings. And they really can only take the path that a boomerang might take if you were in Australia and threw a boomerang. There's sucks. not much room for exploration sucks. or improvisation in flight. Hmm. They just go U shape. U shape. How big is that space, though? Uh, the, the one I saw like a was a little field? bit bigger than this podcast room. Come Definitely on. not a fucking football. There fan. was a condor. In not there? a condor. The condors was about the size of my backyard if you took out the garage, okay. which is not big. It's half a basketball court. Is where they got two of the largest birds on earth housed up. And one of the California condors kept spreading its wings like this. And I'm not sure. It's like six feet. I'm not sh- Exactly. Mm. Huge wingspan. And it's I'm like not me. sure if it was symbolically letting the zookeepers and the patrons know, hey, if you care for me and my species, you'll let me free and let me fly. Or if it thought it was Condor Christ mm. and it was given a sermon up there. Because it kind of looked like that, too. I mean, I think that he might have. I think that the guy could have been, uh, maybe he was a Lothario in his day. Maybe he got a lot of condor pussy. He was showing the zoop keepers how much, I got yeah, this, this much, much pussy. pussy dude. Yeah. <laughs> I got this much pussy. And that was a lot of pussy because, like you said, six full wingspan. There was a bald eagle in there, which was just a beautiful creature. Mm. And it looked content because they got really good vision, Leo. And it had a view of anything from downtown Santa Barbara to the tip of Montecito. Wow. Which means probably Ellen DeGeneres' house. Mm-hmm. I think David Letterman's got a getaway Oprah up Winfrey, there. Spielberg. Oprah Winfrey, Spielberg. Yeah, he could see all the mansions on the hillside. I could plus see the me freeway. and you retiring. As Barbara I could one see day. it too. Mm-hmm. And that bald eagle will be checking out our doings on the pool deck oh, yeah. of the mansion. Oh. So whatever you do when you're 68 and your nutsack drags on the pool deck, that bird's gonna know. I hope that. I hope I could just. I think George Clooney. I know he's big time, but he pulls. He could, he pulled a hot like thirty four year old when he was like sixty three. I'm sure he could go all the way down to a really like hot three year old, sixteen yeah. year old, because it's legal Jesus. in some states. Ah, dude, he's got a house in what I think is some of the most beautiful real estate in the world. Fucking Lake uh, Como, Italy. That you know those shots like in 
James Bond. It was in James Bond. It was in uh, Attack of the Clones where he's talking to like Natalie Portman on the James little, the Bond little... Attack of the Clones. No, no, it was in the James Bond movie, and then it was in Star Wars also. Okay, but it is just ridiculously beautiful. Okay. What are you going to do in Italy, Leo? I would, I don't know, sip cappuccinos, eat seafood, have sex with young Mediterranean women. Yeah. In France, people don't, I mean, we could be like 48 and date an 18-year-old. Nobody would care in France. Yeah. Well, they would care because we're Americans, first of all. That's true. The but, girls would smell. That's true. Their the breath French girls would smell would of cigarettes. And their right. armpits would smell of B.O. They would not. It's not all that, know. dude. It's not all right. that. I, I know married. America. I know our president is a corpse right now. Mm. I know our dollar is worth about as much as a stack of horse manure. Mm. But where else are you going to go to fuck pussy? Where else? You think I should be focusing on finding the wifey, the one for the future? What do you think? I'm 35. What do you guys think? What do you think, Dino? Give me some advice. I still think. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I'm gonna concur with him. I think guys, no, I'm not gay. Um, I am comfortable though with my sexuality. If you must know, Dino, and if you are homophobic, you're gay. So you little bastards out there that talk shit to Papa Leo, just remember: if you're scared of a dick, it's because you want to suck it. Mm. You little gay bastards! Mm. So don't fucking come at me saying that I'm gay. Yeah, when you know. If there, if there was a fucking dick hanging out there, yeah. and, and honestly, every time there's a picture out there floating around of somebody in the fucking regime's penis, you guys are flipping the fuck out. All right, so don't call me gay. On the one hand, that was a gay positive message because he said, if you're homophobic, you're, you're gay. gay. Yeah. But then you call the audience little gay bastards. <laughs> I call them little gay bastards. Yeah. So I don't know where you stand. I'm oh, confused well. now. It sounds like you're homophobic, and therefore, according wow. to your own argument, you're gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> God damn it. I did, I did completely go backwards on my my argument suck. God damn it. One second. I'm going to piss real quick, Austin. Can we cut right here? Let me just skip ahead to the evening I had with my girlfriend in Santa Barbara for my birthday. Oh, God. Went to our favorite sushi restaurant, which might not be my favorite anymore. Santa Barb? Leo, I put in a $170 sushi order. I made her split it with me. I was feeling cheap. You son of a bitch. Well, it was your birthday. That's right. But uh, yeah, you've been ordering like a like a champion. I, I got a good place for you if you uh, if you like, because I, what I see you order, I can tell you that you should try Sugarfish, their $40 box. Check it, out. Check, I have gone there. It's good. Check out yeah, all, Sugarfish is good. Check out this fucking boat of sushi I got. I'm going to send this to Austin right now. I got the boat. They brought out the God. It looks like what Link sailed around in in the Wind Waker. It looks pretty. And it was full of sushi. Wow. Austin, one second. I'm sending this so you can put it in the in the clip so that people can see. But I, it was going well, and I was enjoying it. But at some point, the fucking help there, which is not very good, they decide that myself and my girlfriend have been posted up for too long. No. They drop the check while I'm still eating, and then they come over and make me pay for it while I'm still fucking eating. No way. This place, Sushi Terry in Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. they might incur the same kind of wrath mm -hmm. that Willie G Fitness incurred. Okay, I have a question for the the white folk. I have never really... Are you excluding I, yourself? Where, well, yes, because I Spanish was my first language, so I'm, I'm a Latino, I'd say, but I'm, I'm white I also. knew there was something I didn't like about you. You son of a bitch. Where do you learn those, the complaining tactics? You know what I mean? The complaining ones where, tactics? Yeah, like, let me see your manager. And then, and then the, the, how do you, where did you learn the technique? How to attack a situation The like technique that? for white people are the best. Because you know I didn't I mean? do anything, first of all, I want to say. No, I know. I didn't. Oh, you didn't, you didn't like ask for the manager and be like, what's going on here? No, I wouldn't do that. I recently, my let me talk to the manager move has mm. been, and when I say recently, I mean for the last couple of years, mm. is I always call the bank up and try to get overdraft fees corrected ah. and you can do that if you get mm. charged an overdraft fee call your bank they'll forgive you for the first couple but with bank of america i've literally done it like 18 times <laughs> and they've cut me off they were like hey no more and dude it's tough because i have a business account to which like 18 separate accounts are tied right. my los angeles times my patreon my adobe yeah. premiere pro my the amazon you used to corrupt the la times yeah i read what's going on a little bit locally but just there are like 18 accounts Accounts that routinely withdraw money from it so it's really easy to lose track and get overdrawn and then every fee i get dinged with a 35 dollars overdraft fee don't use bank of america use charles schwab i would change but it would just take forever to retie my credit card to a bunch of
bunch of new mm-hmm. shit. So uh, that's the one bitchy, like, let me talk to the manager okay, okay. thing I do. But I've learned from my time on the phone as a salesman and in mm-hmm. customer service, kind of wearing both hats in right. a camera salesman job, that if you are just nice to customer service people, if you are nice to staff and you need something corrected, they will go way out of their way to help you out. Mm-hmm. I also learned this in the restaurant world. If somebody says something like, can I have my martini refilled, please? I know that I am going to take the longest route possible to get to the bartender to ask him for that. And then once I get there, I'm not even going to ask him. I'm just going to hit on the bar back and look at her ass. Okay. And then maybe 15 minutes later, I'll think about going back there and asking for another martini to bring the table 48. But... If somebody says something like, you know, I'm really sorry to bother you, sir, but we just flew out here from Oklahoma and it's my daddy's 69th birthday. And he was just wondering if he could get another Sam Adams. One server came by and said he'd get it, but it's been a while. I will fucking beeline it to the bartender, grab him by the lapels and say, give me a Sam Adams, you bald headed Irish piece of garbage. I mean, I, that's, he was bald and Irish, and that's okay. how I spoke to him. Wow. <laughs> One must not be subtle that's when they're trying bartender. to get something done. A bald Irish bartender, that's like that's nice. He loved the I Adam like Carolla that. show, too, and he lived in Pahrump. Wow. Probably frequent in the whorehouse. Well, of course. But that's how it worked. And uh, so that's the advice I would give to people. If you're trying to get shit done, and oftentimes when I get an overdraft fee, when I need a fee removed, say I didn't pay a tax on time and now they've hit me with 300 extra bucks if you are just really polite one thing i've learned you got to learn the person's name you're speaking to i think it's in win flora win friends and influence people that somebody's own name when you recite it back to them is like wind chimes on a sunny spring day it makes them very happy when you see that when you're when they're not the representative from Wells Fargo or a customer service agent from Amazon, they're Mrs. Patterson or, or, or Sundeep. That's that's, nice. that's probably who the guy nice. from Amazon's going to be. I like it. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I've seen you do it a few times, and I think uh, you are quite effective. Yeah. But it is it is a charm thing, and uh, you, know, you don't have to be a dick about it. I, th- I know that uh, Dino would be... God, can you imagine if they messed up Dino's order? He would be such a piece of shit. Yeah, Dino, the, the, your order would come back containing at least 5% bodily fluids. Yeah. I actually, I oh, went into a Taco Bell. I went into Taco Bell and like blew up on them the other day. Great. Why? Because I, I had to go through the drive three fucking times because they kept putting beef you know, uh, in my double steak burrito. Uh, and I'm like, listen, man, steak, not beef. And then they messed up two more times. So I just went in there and was like, what the hell is going on? Say I don't need people about, in here that can speak English. You didn't say anything about the race of the people that were working. The first no, time. but the guy just couldn't speak English. I'm like, if you, you need it, someone see? at the drive-thru that can speak English. I mean, <laughs> first of all, the definition of white trash is blowing up at the Taco Bell staff. Yeah. But secondly, the joke's on you. The that joke's the, on you for trash. going to Taco Bell in the first Dude, place. Dude, that is They had a new menu item. Can you I know, tell you, let me tell you I something. I wanted to try it out. I know it doesn't taste. I know that it doesn't taste that bad but if you get away from the Taco Bell and then you go and, re- and revisit Taco Bell like I go maybe once or twice a year I'd say no Taco I mean Bell. Taco Bell once Bell or twice a week decoded for Leo no, no, dude. you know I can't do the that the next day guarantee no, I, I saw I am going to be shitting like I I know it's bad I, I just like it there, there's videos online and stuff but the meat that they use is it comes in a bag and it says grade D meat and they it really has a D on it. It has a D. You dude. think for stealth purposes they would get rid of that? You're right, but no. They, for I mean, journalism, that could be a, a potential. It's edible, but I guess it's like fucking meat that you could give to like animals. You know what I mean? But that's why I get the steak. That's why they kept putting the nasty beef. In. It's nasty yeah, steak. Yeah, I mean, come on. The Austin, steak's not. Good. Austin's a sophisticated diner. He gets steak at Taco. Dude, though. I do worry uh-huh. about what the fuck you guys are eating every day, though. There has to be at some point where you guys have to at least learn that like some greens in there Dude, some honestly actually i've been eating pretty well but i got really sick for like a couple weeks and now my appetite has been crazy i've been eating like three times more every day than i've been eating day. like two triscuits and a can of jello dude it's nuts it's, man. dude it's so fucking healthy because the jello kind of it's like it act, it acts like a fucking fiber it's not real fiber but it kind of your body thinks it is yeah so like i'll shit like once or like twice a week 
and like I'll shit at least once a week. I've been dude, able to eat insane. a solid. It's like I feel like I got calorie. dysentery, dude. Once yeah. a week. Once a week, I'm getting it out though. I'm at least I'm getting my shits out once a week. Dino hasn't shed in like three weeks. Bro. Dude, like, it, that was it. Cigar Guy's problem is that he was just so constipated. That his was body his problem. Was making it diarrhea. That Did was it? number eighty nine on his list. He of problems. couldn't like imagine like those guys eating a salad. Like Cigar Guy could never. I couldn't. I can't even envision him eating a salad. I mm. had so many. I had lunches with him, and it was always Chipotle, but it was like the unhealthy Chipotle, like cheese and sour cream, mm-hmm. rice. And meat, mm-hmm. and that was it. No, of course, no cigar greens. guy like took off. He took us to this cigar shop, and the last thing like we talked about was goldfish. And he really had eaten nothing but goldfish for the past like two and a half. Did you see Cigar Guy's body with his shirt off because of his diet? It was like a trash bag filled with milk. <laughs> Like that was his body. It was just so flabby. Start, yeah, like his his shoulders, like like never did exercise down to like the little like pouch of like fat around his midsection. It, and it, it wasn't even that he was so fat, it Leo. Fat, but it, it was, was like flabby. It yeah. was just like soft to the touch in liquid in quality. It would move yeah. anywhere. Yeah, That's, I know the society. It's doing the same shit that it does to women. Women are do are starting to believe. That because of people like Lizzo and shit, that guys are into that. Now there sure are some guys that are into really big women, and there are girls that are into flabby dudes. But for the most part, being a little bit in shape is always going to help you out. I'm just giving you. I'm just. It's the clue, guys. I'm sorry. It's science. It looks like I when, think they when know people, that if they listen to this show. Well, yeah, but I like it. It's just it comes down we, to like if if you look like you can capture food. That's what I've heard. And That's if if you look like you're gonna die. In Probably yeah. not a keeper. Yeah, yeah that, so, that also, right. So that yeah. uh, excludes you and Dino from the list of keepers. Well, huh? they're still guppies. They at got some, some point, time. At some know? point, their stomachs are just going to start like eating themselves, themselves and then yeah. suck the rest of the body. It's going to yeah. be a black hole sucking in all yeah. the nearby stars. Yeah. But, that's but, what their stomach's going to do because it's so yeah. starved of nutrition. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, if we ever had like a, I don't know, like a Holocaust situation, I would, Derek and I would starve to death in like a week. We, like, we wouldn't get the three weeks that a normal human. You'd you'd be comfortable though because I think your bodies are used to being extremely rational. Oh yeah, they, you guys would survive longer than others, I think. After Maybe. after I had sushi though, Leah, mm. I went back to the hotel room that Mia got me. Oh god, she put on a Catholic schoolgirl outfit. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. I know. I it should probably not even say Pig, this in front of you pigtails? because you're a sick bastard. Pigtails? She might have had pigtails in. Oh, my God. Yep. And I banged her in the pigtails and the schoolgirl outfit, and she blew me, and I came all over her face. Wow. High five. Yeah. Congrats, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Um, and then it I was caught great. the tail end of the Steelers Chargers game. Wow. What a great birthday. Oh, yeah. That's a, they can't, you can't really draw it up much better than that. It wasn't bad. It wasn't much. Now let's let's go to a darker, a darker topic. I'm ready. The one and only Fangeri. He is coming back to the crew. Leo oh, yeah, seemed dude. to be the only one who was optimistic about it because Leo uh-huh. told Fangeri, and he's been telling Fangeri for months mm-hmm. and months, that all Fangeri needs to do to come back uh, much like Dorothy clicking her magical slippers together, mm-hmm. was he needed to post a story saying he loved Danny Mullen. Yes. Austin, do you have the screenshot of that? I can send you that too, Austin. <laughs> We're going to put that up on the pod. See, because Fan Jerry is a confused soul. I don't think he knows what he's doing. He's like the guys that were on the cross neck, uh, uh, side by side with Jesus. You remember when he forgives them because they didn't know what the fuck was going on? Wait, no. You mean the guys who crucified Jesus? The oh, guys that were he, the, the guys guy, that were on the cross next to him were like robbers and murderers but he, he, and shit. He, he, he forgave him too. Did he forgive those guys? I believe he forgave. We should, one we should probably ask these he guys. He forgave one of them. What did the one guy do? Well, the guy was like, "Oh shit, Jesus and stuff." <laughs> when I die, like, can I join you in heaven? And Hell Jesus yeah, was dude. Like, Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that was me, dude. That was me. Like, dude, I'm fucking, I'm repenting. How convenient. That guy was the John Wayne Gacy of wherever that was. (laughs) And he just happens to wind up on a cross next to Jesus. I feel like they'd kill people for fucked up things back then. You know what I mean? Like anything you did. Absolutely. The guy stole some bread, dude. It could have been like, he could have been doing something pretty minor. Yeah. He might've sneezed in the general direction of Rome. Yeah. And some guys with feathers on their helmets showed up and put him on a fucking wooden cross. (laughs) Maybe they caught him beating off somewhere, and it was too close to a church. It was gnarly, dude. They loved to cruise. I did research on this because I did a Jesus bit like two years ago, maybe three years ago for Christmas. And yeah, dude, they didn't nail hands up, 
what they would do is they would just tie your feet and arms to the various parts of the cross and all over the Roman Empire. Oh this God. was done to dissuade people from being disobedient. Yeah, and it worked. Apparently, it, it worked. Yeah, you don't yeah. feel like paying your taxes to good old Rome. You don't feel like giving Caesar an opportunity to get his beak wet and your blacksmith money. Well, here's the stipe. Here's the patibulum or whatever they call the, mm. the fucking cross bits. You're going up on him, bitch. <laughs> Scary, man. I would have been, man, I would have been. I would have I would have died a violent death back then. Yeah, for, for sure. adultery. For adultery. That would have been your crime. Yeah. We're going to call this bastard up though. Let's call him up. Let's call him up. And I think, you know, I think it's time you don't got to be sensitive about it. I think it's time for you to give him a little bit of, you know, give him some hell. It's okay. I think he can take All right. it. All right. I'm yeah, just gonna but tell don't you right, go too hard. The hell that I give him now is going to be child's play compared to the hell we give him in the main channel video when he comes back. Oh god, it's going to be a good one. He better fucking answer. He's like, I'm in meetings in and out. He should have called him sick today. This is a yeah. big occasion. Yeah. Hello? Yes. Fan Jerry. It's Leo. Okay. And it's Leo. And, uh, you know, I do have Danny sitting beside me on uh, in his chair on the Leo and Danny show. And uh, I am just happy that you two are talking again. And um, look, there's a lot of emotions wrapped up in this. But Fan Jerry, are you excited that you are back on the regime? Yeah. 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 I don't know if that's, is that yeah. good enough, Leo? No, no, Jerry. Listen, um, hey, Leo, ask me if I enjoy making love to my girlfriend. Hey, Danny, do you enjoy having sex with your girlfriend? Yeah, it's great. Huh. Listen, Fan Jerry, we're not buying it. But also, can I ask you a question? What? Are you all afraid of what you might have to do on your video back? No. Oh, you're not afraid of it. Why is that? Why are you not afraid? Because you know you're not going to die? Uh, so I'm working. No, I'm not concerned about death. Oh, you, okay. So that's, you welcome death. That's, that's not even one afraid thing, of death. Yeah, that's one thing you should have known, Leo, with, after three it. years of hanging out with Fan Jerry. Fan Jerry, I'm going to let you right now... <laughs> If you would like to use the opportunity, monologue to the audience mm -hmm. about what happened and about what you intend to do now that you're back with the regime. Tentatively back. You still got to film your comeback video. The comeback video will be a good one, Fat Jerry. Let him monologue, though. Yeah, go ahead. What do you mean what happened? Nothing really happened in particular. Oh, really? Mm. Just a mix-up? Over three years, there was some built-up tension. And I mm. fucking snapped. Hmm. And I quit and I walked away. Which moment of your Danny Mullen career would you say was the one that you revisit the most? Was it the finger in the ass? It was that was the nozzle actually. Okay, it was douche. the nozzle, but it's funny. Yeah. It'd be funny <laughs> if it was finger. Um, that was in the Blink-182 video. I think what Leo was asking is what moment, mm -hmm. if you had to narrow it down to a moment, Fan Jerry, was the most significant in your decision to quit? The last one. Which was? Nina. Oh, Mia, tricking him into, you know, wanting to bang your girlfriend. No, no, no. Nina. Oh, no. Nina. Oh, Nina. Oh, Nina. Oh, well... <sighs> Van Jerry, it's about not being an asshole when it comes to boasting about pussy. You have to be humble. You can't walk into a party coming and say, hey, guys, you, I'm fucking Coming out. from you. I know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, <laughs> Van Jerry, listen. I'm a, I'm a do as I say, not as I do guy. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Leo, I think there was a video where you had a business about how much pussy you got. There was. There was definitely there was a video about that. Now, Van Jerry, listen. It was all for humor. We love you. Well, well, you you might have you know you, why can't why can't you get, reach out to her again and well, see maybe if you guys have a connection. Well, let's let's revisit what he's talking about for people yeah. who aren't okay. sure who don't know what happened. There was a part two in a series we'll call the Danny Mullen rents an Airbnb and everybody gets shit faced series. Yes, the first part we set Fan Jerry up with my girlfriend Mia. Mm. Fan Jerry. Went upstairs with Mia. Granted, he was on a lot of cocaine and drunk, mm -hmm. and he fell for it when she made it seem like she wanted to fuck then and there, and we filmed him lunging in for a kiss. Yes. 
It was hilarious, Jerry. You got to admit. It was one of the greatest things the channel's ever produced, to be honest. And, I'm not upset about that one. And Kyle oh, great. made you a legend. Kyle from Nelk was a big fan of that moment. Oh, too. Kyle from Nelk is just a big fan of you in general. But, fan Jerry, that. You still me on Instagram. There we go. go. That, I felt, gave me a little bit more leeway to pull a prank that was a little bit more conniving. Yes. And that's why I thought the Nina thing was okay, which if you guys aren't familiar, in the video, I'm canceled. We got a girl that was coming to our party in Temecula, to the Airbnb, to work with us on making Jerry think she was going to fuck him that night, but instead have us pop out of the closet when they were about to hook up in an upstairs bedroom. Yes. I want to remind you, though, Jerry, that... After that, you and I were taking shots. We were buddies. It was all good. Me and Ian made a conscious decision to edit all of that footage out of the video to make it seem like it ended on a more somber note. Mm -hmm. We actually purposefully cued sad music as Fan Jerry walked down the hallway into an empty bedroom and closed the door in shame. But right after that, Jerry, you and I were high-fiving. You made out with that girl. I paid her to make out with you, by the way. And then we were having a great night. So I just, in case you've just rewatched the video and that's forming your memories on the subject, I will remind you of all that. Hmm. Now, Fan Jerry. Yeah. Uh, let him answer on that. What, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, keep, what, do you, what, do you wanna, what do you have to say about that? Nothing. You're, no, you're, that's accurate. You're, you're right. being accurate. So this is what we want. This is what we want. He an eager. Too, yeah, uh, why are you Austin mad? Wants to say, Austin yeah. face fucked that girl, Jerry. I didn't face fuck her. No, yeah. No, Sorry, that's, Jerry. No, I'm more mad at her. She's just a young woman. We all make mistakes. Now, listen, Fan Jerry. Are you saying that fucking Austin was a mistake? No, well, you know, <laughs> no. I'm saying mistake. that, I guess. Yeah, it might have been a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, Fan Jerry. Probably was a mistake. Fan I'm Jerry. You there, this buddy? This is. This is bigger. <laughs> this is bigger than you, Fan Jerry. Your return to the channel is has got to be big. We want an eager Fan Jerry. Are you going to look at this video like your big quest? I don't know. You could be Frodo Baggins. You can be whoever you want to be on this quest. But you will you be adamant about doing anything and everything to get back into the good graces with not just the fans, but with Danny and me and Austin and Dino. And Swolby and all the people that love you, you know, you've been you've been through thick and thin. Some of the biggest videos on this channel. We need you, fan Jerry. We need you to go big. Second most viewed. You weren't even there, Leo. You bastard. Now listen, are <laughs> we going? Are we going big? What's the fan second Jerry? most viewed video? It's the one, Walmart uh, employees. That's number one. Yeah, that's number one. Number two is the fake. Uh, no, white fast belt, food right? employees is number one. Mm. Oh, fast food employees. Is I just looked mm. it up yesterday. Mm, wow. Oh, interesting. You interesting. just looked it up. Oh, hey, can't, you can take the man out of the channel. You can't take the channel out of the man. Mm -mm. Fan Jerry, are you going to tolerate whatever we throw your way during this comeback video? Most likely. This is great. Now, I have a question. Uh, can we go through a couple things that, you know, we're just going to say out loud and, and we'll see if you are down? Can we just start riffing about a couple things? Maybe. All I don't right. have much time. All right, well, let's do this fast. You have... <laughs> he doesn't have much time for this. Something channel? has been... In, yeah, I know. What? Have you been... In, something's been inserted in your anus on video before for the channel. Will you be open to do that, something like that again for this video? Oh, no. Repeat jokes are what Danny lives off, so... Okay. Good idea, so we, Leo. Next. Yes. He's down. <laughs> I, I, he was also being insulting. I don't know if you picked that up. Well, Jerry, why was that, nece why was, was that necessary at all? Oh, I was being insulting to Leo, not you, Denny. I get it. I get it. All right, so he's down. He's down. I don't know if I believe ass. him, but he's down. Have something up his ass, Danny. Okay, well, it's going to be a gentleman named Detron's penis. <laughs> <laughs> Fan Jerry, are you down to be? I'm not going to say it's going to be another Christ redemption video, sort of like Iggy had to deal with back in 2019. I'm thinking he might be Brutus, and I might be oh. Caesar, the ghost of Caesar, come back. To make sure 
he regrets what he's done to me. Oh, I fucking love it, dude. I can see him in, in the in the getup. Yeah, the toga. Oh, the toga. Oh god. And the toga. And we all have the little ivy headbands. Oh my god, please. And there's a bunch wait. of Greek shit going on. That'll justify him getting costume. fucked by Detron because yes. they all all the Roman shit because they did the I said Greek. The Romans did a bunch of gay stuff, as yep. did the Greeks. Yep. Yep. No, absolutely. Oh, a fan Jerry. Um, this is great. Now. You know, I always fantasize. What, what would you have done if we would take? We've never taken him to a whorehouse. We're really all over the place. Aren't yeah, we? I know we really are. Well, okay. I think he's down for anything. If he's down to have something up his ass, Danny, I think he's down for anything. Yeah, so. I, I'm thinking maybe a paintball gun might factor into yeah. this. I was thinking about. For some reason, I had the image of Fan Jerry in a g-string and a bra, <laughs> tethered to two palm trees. Both wrists <laughs> while we whipped him, flogged him, or oh in some manner God. inflicted physical pain upon him. This that is... image was just in my head when I was out at Venice Beach this weekend. Wow. Yeah, I personally I think that there's always a like a like a you know, there's there's always pain and but at the end there's a reward too. So hopefully he gets a reward at Maybe the end. Maybe a too. prostitute like yeah, you a were prostitute, just yeah. Jerry, can I ask you one more thing? And this is not comedy. Uh, this has nothing to do with your pain or redemption. I'm just curious, what made you post the story saying you missed being my friend? What was your thought process in the hours or days before posting that? Uh, well, I had reached out. We had talked just a couple weeks before that, and it hadn't gone well. That was before and the I infamous TikTok video again. came out. <laughs> you know the TikTok uh, no, video will be... I had messaged you. I had messaged you six and a half days before I posted that TikTok video and you just never responded. So after a week, I figured, fuck, he's never going to fucking respond. I'm going to post this anyway. Okay, I th I'm not going to check back because I don't think it's a big enough deal and I think we've moved past it already. But Jerry, I think I remember us having a full conversation and it not going anywhere even though I was trying to reconcile with you and then the TikTok video came out. I remember me no, trying you just to make things it days later. What's that? You had just says, noticed it a couple days after I'd posted it. I noticed the TikTok video. Okay, because from what I remember, I tried to make things better over text and you were still being a little prickly. You weren't quite ready to come around yet. Yeah, well, I was uh, going through. I have a lot going on. What's going on? I can't talk about most of it because corporate NDAs but mm, insider trading Are you merging yeah, with Pepsi yeah. Cola is Fan Jerry's yeah. lemonade merging with uh, yeah uh, He's gonna be, I, you with might be forced card. to move they is bought me true? out oh nice you might be forced yeah, to move I'm going to I am moving to LA well, East this is LA great. Covina area mm. Covina okay do well, you need a roommate yeah. that's yeah Dino's down to live with you <laughs> or you're not going to be able to access your kitchen, Dino, but it's still going to be a good time. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dino, it's uh, it's, it. it's like we have a sloth on the chair over I would there. Say that's exactly he, he what he is. He made a sloth-like facial expression. He is a sloth. This was Dino. I, I, uh, all right, uh, I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm sorry. Uh, we have an incompetent guy <laughs> holding the action cam. So you're coming up to L.A., and are you going to maintain the same job, or are you starting a new one? Uh, maintain. That's amazing that you have uh, you you are you get up every day and you work hard, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Liam can't. Andrew. Leo can't fathom something like that. Not working. Yeah, Leo hasn't held a real job ever. Uh, that's not true. I worked for Canon for three and a half years, yeah. and I worked at Waterworld for four and a half. Mm -hmm. I got, and then uh, I also worked at a appliance sales job for the Great Indoors for. <laughs> A year and a half. <laughs> the fact that you're going in so much depth to defend yourself. <laughs> uh, true or false, Leo, the main perk at all those jobs, and the only reason you didn't quit was mm -hmm. because they had large parking lots and a robust female employee base. You know what? I have to be honest. I did hook up with someone in, in a parking lot at every job. I know. It was numerous times. We're aware. We're yeah. aware, especially Waterworld. And thank yeah, God they canned your ass because a big lawsuit was going to arrive for them if they uh, did. Oh, yeah, dude. Is consensual blowjobs in parking lots. And since you're working and there anymore, and the ladies can't go back, try to find you, see who the baby daddy is. You're Makes so your right. life a lot easier if you just keep it's, quitting and moving on. Jerry, Jerry yeah, you know right. he would never fuck any of those girls. I wouldn't. I mean, he might reluctantly bang one of them from doggy, but he probably wouldn't <laughs> even be able to come. Okay, Jerry, so you're coming up to L.A., so 
Did any part of you think, hey, I'm going to be up there. Might as well make peace when I'm up there. This is a political move. I need to grow my channel. No, my I found with out Danny I'm comes moving second. days. I just found out I'm moving like three days ago. Okay. And my other part of my question remains the same, though. Was any of this motivated by, hey, I need to make the Just Jerry channel blow up by any means necessary. If that means shaking hands with Danny while my fingers are crossed behind my back, so be it. No, I haven't even really been posting to my channel anymore. But you're going to start once you get back on our channel and you get your redemption video going. Uh, maybe. All right. Question. Um, when was the last time you had sex, Fan Jerry? Don't lie. Tell us the truth. Uh, five and a half years ago when I had my, conceived my kid. Jerry, stop. Tell us the truth. When's the last time you had sex? Happy uh, five and a half to young Terry, by the way. Mm. August, you had sex? August. With whom? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Was the girl a fan of the channel? Mm. No. You're such a liar. (laughs) You're a liar. You're lying. So this girl is. I knew her from the military. You knew her from the military? That's got to be a violation of something. I want to know this girl. I want to meet this girl. Isn't that, is that like treason, maybe? Yeah. I'm not sure what the violation is, but it could be something like that. Fan Jerry, I want you to start That's the video. That's not how that I, works. I, I want you to bring the girl that you had sex with in August to the video. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be glorious. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Well. No, I promise you, you'll never get names, faces, or pictures of any girl that I am fucking ever again. That's fine. I'm not well, dumb. We, that's, that's fine. We'll figure it out. That's, that's Clearly in your there's, there's an open murder case on all those girls as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jerry, I, uh, I no, no, enough kidding. We're not going to prod into your personal life anymore. I'm just here to say I'm glad to have you back. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do a big, fun, welcome back, Jerry video sometime in January. Some parts of it are going to be a little unpleasant, but I just want you to know that I would do the same to anybody else who came back. That's right. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, okay, buddy. Well, it's good to have you back, man. We're going to meet up in person, off camera sometime soon and work things out. Okay. Sounds good, buddy. Oh. All right, dude. All right, Fan Jerry. We, we miss you, buddy. Right, I got to go back to work. Soon. I'll see you guys All right. later. All right, see you soon, buddy. Go, uh, All right. what does he do again? Uh, Cal- calibrates shit. Mm-hmm. Calibrates, who knows? He's never really been able to describe what he calibrates. <laughs> Leah, would you, if you were working alongside Jerry in a lab coat calibrating shit, how long do you think you would last? Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> it depends on how many people in the office I could have fun fucking around with. If I could prank people. And then if there were some women that would blow me in the parking lot, then I, I, I would last at least a year. I went with Jerry on like a work trip and saw what he actually does. He calibrates like medical equipment at hospitals. Like that's people are easy. Uh, like he's got people's why lives medical in malpractice his lawsuits are so exp- <laughs> That's why they're fucking all over the place these days. All right. Well. I don't know how to feel about that. We spoke to Fan Jerry. He seems somewhat sincere. Yeah. Somewhat not. The right. only way to tell is when I can look him in the eye face to face. And yep. then I'll know. Because when I can see a man's eyes, I can see his soul. Oh, yeah. So, Fan Jerry is... I don't think he, he can lie very well, in my opinion. Do you think he's a good liar? I think we've always known when he lies. <laughs> We better not get into that. Yeah. Because some of the uh, controversial topics with Fan Jerry are, mm-hmm. I'm sure he wouldn't like them discussed. Now oh, that he's yeah. Got one toe back in the Danny Mullen pool. Mm-hmm. But, guys, all right. We're going to leave it at that. We're going to um, think this over. No doubt, spend a lot of time writing various things Fan Jerry's going to have to endure before oh, he's welcome. God. And we'll see you guys next week. Or we'll see you later on this week for the Patreon folk. That's right.